How does self-exploration influence the understanding and improvement of female sexual life? How does women's sexuality change as they age? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Self-exploration can help women understand their preferences and needs, contributing to a more satisfying sexual life. Women's sexuality can change as they age due to factors such as hormonal changes, menopause, physical health, and life experiences. Although sexual responses may vary, many women continue to have a satisfying sexual life as they age. Age and orgasm. As women age, they often find it easier to reach orgasm. This is due to increased knowledge of their bodies and greater confidence in sexual intimacy. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Male anorgasmia, anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Asexuality. Not everyone has a sexual interest. It is estimated that around 10% of the population is asexual, meaning they do not feel attraction to either gender. Although it may seem unusual, it is important to respect and understand the diversity in human sexuality. The association between sex and creativity. Some studies have suggested that sexual activity can stimulate creativity and problem solving. The release of dopamine and oxytocin during sex may enhance cognition. Bioluminescence. Some marine organisms, like certain jellyfish and deep sea fish, can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Hypoactive sexual desire is a condition in which a person has chronically low sexual desire. It may be due to physical, emotional factors, or a combination of both, and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Erectile dysfunction in women. While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Dry orgasm. Some men may experience dry orgasms, meaning they feel the sensation of an orgasm without the release of semen. This can occur due to medical conditions or practices like semen retention. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Hormonal effect on desire, sex hormones, such as testosterone and estrogen, play a key role in sexual desire. Changes in hormonal levels can affect libido. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. Emotional strength. The ability to handle emotional situations maturely and balanced is an attractive trait. Facial symmetry. Facial symmetry is often considered attractive due to its association with health and strong genetics. People tend to perceive symmetrical faces as more attractive. 
Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Health effects. Female orgasms can have positive health effects, such as reducing stress, improving sleep, and relieving menstrual pain. They can also strengthen pelvic floor muscles. Importance of consent. Consent is essential. Not all women enjoy anal sex, and it is fundamental to respect individual limits and desires. Cultural influence. Sexuality is influenced by the culture in which one lives. What is considered attractive or taboo can vary widely among different societies and eras. Understanding these cultural differences is essential for healthy sexual communication. The influence of pornography on expectations. Pornography can influence sexual expectations. It's important to remember that pornography is a fictional representation of sexuality and should not be seen as a standard for real sexual life. Intelligence. Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Relationship. Between depression and decreased sexual desire, depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Male multi-orgasms. Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Nonverbal communication. The ability to communicate through gestures, eye contact, and positive body language can be very attractive. Orgasm and pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm. Duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Cervical orgasm. For some women, the cervix becomes an erogenous zone during sex, and proper stimulation of this area can lead to intense cervical orgasms. Each person is different, and some may find this type of orgasm surprisingly pleasurable. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Sleep paralysis is a terrifying experience where a person temporarily wakes up unable to move. Occasionally, people report sexual experiences during these episodes. Positions and comfort. Experimenting with different positions can enhance comfort and experience. Finding the right position and allowing the receiver to have control over depth and speed can make a difference. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.